gonna get out of this one. This is gonna be messy. She had buttered her way through the big predators. And here he comes now. What are you gonna do? Use your big body or your leg to kick? Triceratops, you used your horns and frill to defend your nest from one of the largest dinosaur predators of all time. <gasps> A Trudon! You must be one of the dinosaurs that made these footprints. Now to test Sara's theory that you are fighting. It's Trudon time. Show me what you got, Trudon. Interesting attack, Trudon. But cute can play at this game. Nice try. But I've got claws, too. You think that's loud? Squawk! What's she doing here? Are we? Oh, oh. Are you doing these moves for her? But then 
wonder who do these second set of footprints belong to. I wonder if Sara has another theory. Dad's theory was right. The boy and girl trude on are dancing together. I know boy dinos dance to impress girl dinos so they can start a family together. I guess girl dinos do the same thing. Sweet dance moves, Trudon. A baby Trudon? But you already have a family together. So why are you still trying to impress each other? I wonder if Dad has another theory. Hey, Dad, who did this to you? It must have been either the Sinonithosaurus, Trudon, or the Titanoboa. So, come on. Fess up. Who destroyed Dad's egg? <sighs> another day, another dino crime. I'm getting tools for this copper light. Oh, I hope you're not getting too old for the chase. <sighs> Why do they always run? We've got a few questions for you, Sino. There's no running from the law. Claws up, Trudon. We got a runner. This way. Oh, he's getting away. You get around that side. He's going over. I think he's ready to talk. Aren't ya? Nice work, partner. One of them is going down for this. You're making this personal, partner. How can I not? One of them tried to eat my dad. Let's stick to the facts. Facts? The only fact I care about is that dino teeth are like fingerprints. And this curved tooth belongs to our perp. Right. So all we have to do is wait for the x-ray lab results and we'll know who committed the crime. I can't wait that long. I need results now. Let's start with that one. Sign in at the source. This will all go away if you would just kindly open up your mouth and show us your teeth. Yeah, open up, sign in at the source. Don't think we'll take no for an answer. Because we won't. No match, partner. Thank you for your cooperation. You are free to go. Get out of my face. Well, up next. Bring me this one. Open up, Trudon. Looks like someone's not a listener, Officer Curry. Calm down, partner. I apologize for my partner. Sometimes her anger gets the best of her. You don't mind if I eat my lunch, do you? <sighs> oh, hard-boiled egg. It's not so much that I like the taste of it, as much as the peeling. One piece at a time. Slowly revealing that perfect white. Partner. But she's eating your lunch. Exactly. She's eating my lunch and she's showing us her teeth. Mm hmm. Doesn't match the tooth found at the scene of the crime. Well, you're free to go, Trudon. If it wasn't the sign with the source or the Trudon, it must be the Titanoboa. Tells me we're going to have to survive that next. You're right. Baby Brachiosaurus would make a nice snack for a hungry Trudon. Tina, what are we going to do? We're not as massive as our parents. 
Don't worry, Sara. Everything is going to be okay. Sister promise. But how am I going to defend myself? You don't have to defend yourself. Because I'll defend you. Thanks, sister. But look, there's two more Trudon. There might be two of them, but there's way more of us. Can't be good. Dad, what do we do? How should I know? You're the dino expert. Yeah, but you're the dad. You're right. And dads take care of the kids. Okay, everyone get down. Okay. Now what? I haven't thought that far ahead yet. Just remember, Dad, you have huge claws. <laughs> yes, I do. It's got bigger claws. That's the Spinosaurus. It's the largest meat-eating dinosaur ever discovered. Oh, it's getting closer. Okay, listen. I know you're scared. So am I. But we're in this together, right? Now that thing might be huge and scary. It's got long claws and a mouthful of sharp teeth. It's got a super loud roar. But you know one thing it doesn't have? A dad who loves them. <laughs> now run! <laughs> Go! Go! Hey! Over here! Looks like mom and dad are here, finally. Spinosaurus isn't stopping. No, the Spinosaurus could easily take on two adult Myasaurus. What about three? <gasps> Grandma? More like Grandma Myasaurus. <laughs> you want a roar? I'll give you a roar. Source protected the nest from one of the smartest dinosaurs of all time. I'm gonna need some supplies. The Trudon has spotted the eggs. And it looks like he's about to strike. How will the sign with the source protect them? Did anything else to defend its nest? Huh? Where'd she go? Oh, there she is. Are you looking for the Trudon Sino? No, you're. You're peeing. The Trudon is back, and she's coming towards the nest. Why isn't the Trudon trying to take an egg? This doesn't make any sense. Trudon's coming in another way. 
He's going to try to steal an egg from behind. But the Saturnithosaurus sees him. She's trying to loud squawks again. But the Trudon is still coming at her. The source protected her next by charging at the Trudon and scaring it off. I know what I need to do. So squeaky. Sorry, I'm size of the source. What are you doing at a supermarket? Are you looking for food? Well, you're herbivore. I think the vegetables are over. There. Oh. Hey, Dromaeosaurus. <coughs> Looks like this carnivore has found some food, too. In size of saurus food. Now I can do Dino Experiment 712. How does the Dromaeosaurus track its prey? <coughs> Wait up, Dromy! Dromaeosaurus! Anjali, this way! The Dromy spotted something. And it looks like an insides of a source feather. That must mean the Dromaeosaurus has really good vision for tracking. They're not getting away this time! Oh, there you are! <sighs> You've come to the end of the feather trail. If you can't use your really good vision to track the inside of them, what are you going to do? Are you smelling the feather? What are you doing now? Wait, are you trying to sniff out the same smell as the feather? I mean, the Dromaeosaurus has a powerful nose for tracking. <laughs> it looks like someone caught a scent. <laughs> There's a lot of smells in the spice aisle, aren't there, Dromaeosaurus? Did you lose the smell of the insides of the source? If you can't use your powerful hearing to track the insides of oak, what are you going to do? Did you hear something? You did hear something. Do you think you heard the insides of a source? That must mean the Dromaeosaurus has excellent hearing for tracking. Wait for me! I know you heard that! <laughs> Looks like the Dromaeosaurus is tracking that crunching noise. That was the biggest crunch yet! You did it, Dromie! the insides of a source by listening for the sounds it makes. <laughs> Microraptor! Don't even think about it. I'm using that beef jerky to attract the gigantic raptor. It's a dinosaur I've never seen before. <sighs> Look. Your name means small beef, but Gigantoraptor's name means giant beef. So I'm predicting that it's gonna take a lot of jerky to lure it over here. What was that? Small beef, you should have been called Quick Beef! Call me a source. Still not the dino I'm waiting for, but definitely closer. Your name doesn't have a raptor in it, but you do have super sharp claws and teeth like all raptors do. No, 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 Johnny. I need the 
that jerky to prove my theory that the Gigantoraptor had the biggest claws and teeth of all the raptors. I take it you don't want to help me with my science experiment. Well, your name may mean fast running lizard, but I'm pretty fast too. <laughs> Titanus! That nest belongs to that terror bird. I'm not so sure you want to take her on, smile it on. Titanus used their hook beaks to tear their prey apart. You better run, smile it on! Better luck next time! Another smile it on? And he got an egg! The smile on worked together to distract the Titanus so that they could get an egg. Maybe my team can score a goal the same way. Incisosaurus! Wait up! What's the Incisosaurus doing? The Incisivosaurus is a herbivore with big back teeth. I wonder if they're big enough to chomp into wood and solve my dino experiment. Looks like they are. I think I just solved two. Wait a second. You're not eating the wood. You're just moving your teeth back and forth on it. Why would you do that? to you. Titanus, being big and fast might help you capture your prey, but it won't help you keep up with me. <laughs> Dino Experiment 716 is complete. Titanus didn't just use its massive beak and huge claws to hunt. It would also shake its prey with its powerful neck. Thank you so much for your help, Officer Henderson. You're welcome, Dana. And thank you so much for making the Dino Field Guide. I've had so many amazing adventures because of it. Wow. I am so glad that it ended up with you. Now, how about I drive you home? I get to ride in a police car? OK, this is now seriously the best day ever. Can we turn on the sirens? Hmm, sure, why not? <laughs> <laughs> of us, little two. So I'd like to introduce you to our new deputy. Roar! <laughs> that there is the Giganotosaurus. She don't like celery, though. She's more of a meat lover. Like our Gigantoraptor problem is solved. Thank you kindly, Giganotosaurus. You scared him off. Now let's get you some beef jerky as a reward. 
Marshal Dana, Sheriff Grandma. Farmer Dad, what are you doing in town? Shouldn't you be harvesting celery? Well, that's what I was doing until that dinosaur came around. Settle down, Farmer Dad. We got rid of that no good gigantic thief. Your celery is safe. Oh, this ain't about my celery. It's about my horses. They've all been eaten up. Marshal Dana, you don't think Deputy Giganotosaurus ate those horses, do you? She is a big, hungry carnivore. Oh, there she is. That's the dino that ate my horses. Giganotosaurus, you can't be my deputy no more if you're going around eating horses. I don't think she cares much. And now that she's all out of horses, looks like she's hungry for Sheriff Grandma. Not so fast, Giganotosaurus. You may think you're the biggest and baddest dino in the West. There's someone I think you should meet. You should be scared, Jigga. Why would she be scared? Diplodocus is one of the biggest herbivores of all time. Herbivore? How is that there herbivore gonna scare that there carnivore? Don't you worry. The Diplodocus has a secret weapon. Go ahead, Diplodocus. Make her day. We better take cover. It's a giant dino showdown. Show them what you got! That tail is just like my whip, only much, much bigger. Tough against the giant Dino Whip, are you, Giganotosaurus? <laughs> Go to Plotticus! Yeah! <laughs> nice work, Deputy to Plotticus. You scared off the Giganotosaurus. Now let's get you some celery to celebrate a job well done. Wait up, T. <coughs> Rex! <laughs> But how am I going to do that? Hey, T-Rex, look. Some yummy Aguna look. You should stop and think about how you're going to try to get one. Now's my chance. Seven degrees. Got it. Thanks, T-Rex. How's my... Can't. The T-Rex can't fit its head through the doorway. Now how am I going to finish my dino experiment and see if your body temperature changes whether you're inside or out? Well, I'm glad one of us is happy. <laughs> Mama T-Rex may be too big to fit inside the house, but her baby isn't. Okay, baby. Here you go. That's a good baby. Now come on inside where it's nice and warm. Is that good? Now's my chance. Thirty-seven 
37 degrees, which means T-Rex has the same body temperature whether it's inside or outside, which means you can control your own body heat, which means you're warm-blooded. Thanks, baby T-Rex. All right, dinosaurs, let's see which one of you is hungry for a giant prehistoric dragonfly. Not the Giganotosaurus. Even though the Meganura had wings as long as my arm, they were probably too small a meal for such a large predator. Same thing for the Albertosaurus. Maybe just big enough for a Trudon. Trudon is one of the smartest of all the dinosaurs, but is it smart enough to catch a Meganura? She's going low. I think she's about to leap. I should probably move out of the way. Nice move, Strudon. The real Meganura? Looks like he's got the Trudon's attention. The Trudon is doing its sneaky thing again. I wonder if it'll work on a real Meganura. Dino Experiment 726, test number two. All right, dinosaurs, I know the Trudon was an insectivore, but let's see who else is hungry for a tasty insect. It's a Coatlas, the biggest flying creature of all time. Did you eat insects? you preferred small dinosaurs like the Compsognathus. What about you, Pterodactylus? Did you eat insects? Or did insects eat you? A Microraptor? You're a dinosaur with four wings that you use to glide. But are you a fast enough glider to catch a Meganura? Looks like I'm about to find out. Microraptor is closing in. He did it! The Microraptor caught a Meganera, which means Microraptors are insectivores. Now to see if this hunting style will work for Dad. Dino Experiment 726, test number three. All right, dinosaurs, I know the Trudon and Microraptor are insectivores. But is anyone else interested in showing how they'd catch a yummy insect? What was that? Ouch! Here it is again. Who's doing that? I better take cover. Megan Yura, are you hiding too? But from what? An Archaeopteryx. The paleontologists believe the Archaeopteryx was the first bird ever. I know some birds eat insects. But are you one of them? It looks like that's a yes. Megan, Mira, and Archaeopteryx are both expert flyers. So I wonder how the Archaeopteryx is planning to catch the Megan, Mira. It did! But it did give another Archaeopteryx a chance to catch it. I know what Dad needs to do. 